By the way, the uh, most valuable Danette. I already gave out the least valuable Danette. Now I'm getting right to the awards. Okay. Do you guys... Now, Todd... Todd was named the least valuable Danette. Third place... goes to McLovin. Yes! I'm not last. Um, second place. After the break. No. <laughs> no. Seton O'Connor. Oh, BS. congratulations. BS. <laughs> First runner-up. Holy, Fritzy is the most yes. valuable and the least what? valuable. Yay. <laughs> That's crazy. Yay. Can you be both? I guess. Yes, you, you are. It just depends on the day, depends on the hour. I'm disappointingly excited. Yeah, you can be really good and really bad. Disappointingly excited. Yes. <laughs> very consistent. That's what that means. I'm very consistent. Okay. Most valuable backroom guy. Oh, this is where. It's very exciting. Now, let me just run down some of the guys and what they do. And they, they do a wonderful job. Like we have Rob, who is a, a Knicks and a Jets fan, and he should get it just because of that. And, and he's very optimistic. He doesn't say anything during the entire day, but if you bring up the Knicks backcourt, and he'll spend 20 minutes with you. Uh, Weeks has been an unbelievable cameraman, but he does so many other great things. And uh, he's a handyman. The big German. Big German makes a lot of this possible every single day. Eric, Dylan, I don't know what Dylan does, but he is entertaining. I walked in last week. I walked in Friday afternoon after the show, like 3, 30, 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Now, I can hear guys in the back. You know, you know, I'm going through the door. I can hear people. I'm on the outside coming in. They're playing basketball. I walk in. First person I see, Dylan has his shirt off. Oh. Dylan should not have That's his hot. shirt off. No, it was it was not. Yes, yes, Eden. You know what I love about Dylan is that he'll come in one day, just sort of like out of nowhere, and be like, "Hey, check this out!" And it's like a tattoo of a flamingo <laughs> on his head, and it's just like, "Yeah, that's it." Like, there's yeah, no, like, yeah. just, hey, check this out. Uh, <laughs> Ray is an intern we just got. He's on a rookie contract. Uh, you know, you're not quite sure. It gives you that uh, surfer vibe. But, you know, he's stepping up, stepping into some of McLovin's responsibilities there. Mario, everybody knows that Mario can't be valuable at anything, so you can't have him as most valuable backroom guy. Wow. He's day-to-day, but, it, but we do love Mario. Marvin, Marvin puts up with an awful lot. He's one of the funniest guys in here. He's got a bad jump shot. Uh, but you know what? He fits right in, and we have so much fun with him every single day. Uh, Tyler, Tyler, the moderator, moderates chat row. He does, uh, you know, meet Fridays. He watches my dog, Winnie, every single day. Not, not necessarily in that order. No, he loves watching the dog. I got, uh, I got Tyler pajamas today with Winnie's face all over his pajamas. Um, so here is the most valuable backroom guy, 2021. Do you guys want to guess who it is? Before I turn it around, I, I, I got a piece of tape for the nameplate, so it's not really professional. This snuck up on me. Paulie? I think the way you downplayed Mario, you're doing a curveball here, mm. possibly. Oh. So you're going Mario. Yeah, no, okay. I don't think you should be. I think you okay. picked him. All right. Uh, Todd? I was going to go Tyler. Tyler, okay. He does a lot of different things and always has a but smile. But does he face. do much for the show itself? I think the vibe is also a very important thing, and the cooking every single week and okay. taking care of the dog. All right. It's a lot of go- lot going on. There. Okay. Uh, McLovin, who do you think is the most valuable backroom guy? I think you're going against the grain with Dylan. Dylan. Really? Dylan I want to hang out with, I will say that. <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen. I, I You would go to Vegas. Seton, who do you think? I feel like we're... I feel like Weeks is being underrepresented Ooh, here. Wow. Great camera, man. Um, but I think of all the people that we're talking about right now, there's sort of one elder statesman, the father figure of that back room. So I'm going to go with Eric Jones. Eric, the big German. The big German. Um, 
What's what's the show? <laughs> what, what's going on? There's another radio show yeah, going on. I don't know what okay. that is. Am I interrupting something? Yeah. <laughs> okay. The most valuable BRG 2021 goes to Tyler, the moderator. Wow. Is that duct tape on there? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yeah. I I asked Mario to see if he could get a nameplate, and uh, he he didn't do it. Uh, here comes Tyler. Tyler is coming in right now. He's got his pajamas on if you're watching Let's on go. Peacock. You know, it's funny is that you were just talking about how valuable he is while he was on camera here, wandering Tyler. around uh, aimlessly. No, no, he's he's actually he's he's actually cooking. So he's got hot dogs, he made chili, and we got hamburgers. And he took the dog for a walk. Yes, he did. Tyler, congratulations. Congratulations, Tyler. Yes. Yeah, Tyler, those pajamas look great. Those are ballers. I don't I know. know if that trophy's going to fit in his apartment. <laughs> or his orange Camaro. <laughs> I still love that story, that he bought basically the same car as the big German. And, and like a month later... <laughs> You know that movie, single white female. That uh, that's that's Tyler. Who who gets a Camaro in the winter, except for <laughs> Tyler, the moderator.